land. For that you need a tree branch without leaves. <laughs> the blue and brown paint. Now, after this, we need a deep gold. Some pretty fairy lights. Now, we are going to wrap the jute on the pot. Hello, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My little nephew has already told you guys that we are going to make a lamp out of a tree branch. He is an art lover and he loves to watch my videos. So I found this spare tree branch in my garden. It's an autumn season. You can easily find around parks or in your backyards. If you want a cozy addition in your room, this lamp would be perfect for it. can see it be intoxicating your energy first time in so long you felt the heat evaporating your bindings Pulled like the sunlight darkness can't hold you here Pulled and right push through the atmosphere this is your done this is your break move like the move like the so I have seen so many videos of tree lamp on YouTube. It really inspired me, so I decided to make one for myself. I'm here carefully wrapping the jute around the pot very firmly, and you have to be really patient for this step. Okay, the stem of this branch is quite long enough to hold itself in a pot, so I have decided to trim it a little bit with a saw. If you also need to do this step, then please try to be very careful or seek somebody's help. So as per my theme, the mirror cut pieces would look beautiful on the edge of the pot. Intoxicating your energy First time in so long you felt the heat
Let's move on to the tricky part. The technique I have used to wrap the fairy lights around the branches is that I have taken the end of the fairy light and started with the first corner of the branch. Wrapping it gently and sealing it with the scotch tape. I know the sadness that cripples you It comes in waves and out of the blue But there are days you feel freedom to Bask in the glorious lining Move like the sunlight, darkness can't hold you here Hold in my push through the atmosphere This is your dawn, this is your break Move like the move like the move like the sunlight, darkness can't Okay, it's time to prepare the fairy lights for the next step. I'm securing these tiny little lights with tape. Better if you use the paper tape. I know the sadness that cripples you It comes in waves and out of the blue But there are days you feel freedom to
after spraying your bronze, let it dry for 10 minutes. I got some of the paint on my hand because I was too eager to hold it. You should at least leave it for 10 minutes outside, then remove all the tapes from these tiny bulbs. Now it's time to secure the stem very firmly into the pot. I'm using a big amount of hot glue gun. After applying the glue, hold the branch for like 5 minutes to let the glue completely dry. I'm adding these extra thermocol pieces to prevent my branch falling off from the pot. Securing it again with the hot glue gun. Okay, let's give the finishing touches inside our pot. I'm using a dark brown acrylic paint and I'm just painting inside the edge of our pot. Just look at these beautiful stones. I'm going to fill this over the surface of my pot. I hope it turns out pretty good. happy how this turned out it just gave the perfect cozy touch to my room and if you have enjoyed this tutorial then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in my next video thank you move like the move like